Hi and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the series. Um, in this tutorial we're going to look at how we can make an object follow a path but turn automatically as it follows that path. In the previous tutorial we looked at how we can get that object following a path using a motion guide. Um, so this was the this is the thing that you produce. It's just like a little circle that followed a, a, a particular path. In this tutorial, we're going to get this aeroplane, our easy flash plane, to follow the same path, um, but we're going to do it in a way that actually turns the plane automatically. So once again, what we're going to do is we're going to create a path for this plane to follow. So I'm going to grab my pencil tool and I'm going to add a motion guide. I'm going to lock the plane layer and I'm going to select the first layer of the motion, uh, the first frame, sorry, of the motion guide um, and I'm going to draw my, my route. So I'm actually going to start my route over here and I'm going to draw in my route. So I'm going to get it to turn around like this and turn around again like that. Whoops. And then I'm going to just adjust my line to make sure it's kind of smooth. And remember, um, you can uh, smooth, soften up that line as well by double clicking on the line and just pressing the, the round tool and it will just kind of um, smooth it up and then you can manipulate it as much as you like. Um, the really important thing is to make sure that you haven't got any breaks in, in the line otherwise the thing won't work properly. So I'm going to get this to last for um, about 60 frames. So I'm going to just highlight both of those frames and press F5 to extend. I'm then going to right or lock that uh, guide layer and unlock the plane layer. I'm going to right click on the plane la uh, layer, anywhere on the timeline will do, and right click and select motion tween. I'm then going to press F6 at the end. Um, I've now got to set my start position, which is going to be at the start of the line here and go to the end and set my finishing position over here. So now what I've got is this plane that follows this line. But as you can see, um, at some points the plane flies backwards, which is not what we want. We want the plane to follow that path and to rotate at the same time. So what you need to do is click anywhere on that line, that uh, plane layer, anywhere on the motion uh, tween line, open up the properties and select orient to path um, and select rotate none and then what you've got is this plane that will then follow that path automatically so let's have a look at how it works there we go we've got our plane it then follows the line automatically um, and it, it's that simple not too complicated um, and far better than turning it manually yourself by creating various points in your motion tween and then turning it. Hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. I'll see you in lesson five.